Coming up this week on Beeman's Archer's Choice. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple. This is the Archer's Choice. Pain is what I'm doing. I got you it's so to deal hard to with work all with the some time. Of these people, you know that. <sighs> this week we went to back to Brother Billy's. Yep, down to Colorado, one of our favorite places to hunt. Where you shot, like two years ago, you shot that small muley down there, but... Can we see that again this no, week? No, we can't. No. No. That's over and done with. Get over yeah. it. Okay, well, this week... Yes, what happened this week? Well, first we're going to go into... Freddie and I were in a tree stand the first night out, and we had a hybrid muley come by. Really hybrid, cool. Hybrid. Very unique animal. Yes, it's half whitetail, half mule deer. Or half or, mule deer, half whitetail. Okay, technically, okay... Yes. I mean, a great trophy, but, wouldn't you? Wouldn't, I mean, no, because I passed him up. Oh. Yeah, because we saw some other big mule deer and a couple big white tails down there also, and it was the first night we had like almost two weeks down there. What did you end up getting? A paper tag. <laughs> a little salt and pepper. Mmm, tastes pretty good. We've all been there. All righty, let's just get into the footage. Pass up a, a crossbreed. Ah. Oh. Man. Yeah, Freddie felt the same way in the tree stand that night. Well, Freddie was right. He should have pushed you. <laughs> we saw a couple deer run out of here. We're hoping it wasn't one of those big guys, but I kind of think it might have been that big mule deer. But we know there's a couple good white tail hybrids in here, too. We'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. We have a great wind. We've got a west wind blowing our scent just that way. So, and they seem to be coming out of that corner there, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, I really don't need my Nikons for him being this close, Vicky. And then what? Let's just walk, watch him walk away. did it that time good for you now we're gonna go into another one of my hunts down in Colorado again another one of your hunts I'm glad you yes. specified that we've got some we, have, we we sat out in that big old field there by the turkey trees yep you know yep that area oh yeah put on them safety goggles of course 
what are you? You know, you look like a bee. Anyways, let's just roll the footage. He's worthless today. The mic was set up in the stand here that got set up earlier today. They've been seeing that high buck out here in the field, and they've been coming out from underneath these trees here. So we're just gonna sit tight, be quiet, and see if we can't get this buck to come through. Both Freddie and I had tags and bows in the stand. And once we saw these bucks coming through, I said, Freddie, give me the camera, trade out. Oh, Fred, boy, we just need a little bit more time, and you, buddy, the guys, would have closed the deal. Opportunity, seize it, take it, take it home. Yep, well, Michelle's turn now. Another girl. It's the third morning of our North Dakota hunt. We're back where I sat a couple mornings ago. We had a lot of activity, mostly does and fawns, a couple smaller bucks. It's been really, really hot. Yesterday was highs in the 90s, so most of the activity has been in the mornings. We've been seeing bigger bucks every morning, so we're gonna sit and hope for the best.
Stay tuned. Archer's Choice will be right back. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the to Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. I w that was my line. It really well, was. You know, you're just not so doing it. So what's going on? Okay, now we're going to go yes. to posse member Michelle Helen. Right. Art's wife. Art the Shrek man or was should, filming I his wife. Say, I should say Art is her husband. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. And Art's actually at Michelle Hunt now up in North Dakota with Eldon. You know, that, that, I just realized something. What? Your name's first on the show, on the opener. That got changed this year. It's because girls always go before boys. That's just the way it is, life in general. Just get with it. Anyways, Michelle, you have some awesome encounters with some deer, and we want to show everyone that footage. What's the matter? We'll be right back. I'm going to think about this one. Okay, all kidding aside, you need to pay close attention to how far this buck drops right at the shot. Michelle, after all that waiting and all that deer activity, the nerve of that buck to jump down, to go down that far. Ugh, I feel your pain. It's okay. It's going to happen. Now, let's check out Ralph's. Don't go away. Archer's Choice is coming right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You can see the springtime air is getting to my husband. 
You nut. This next hunt is your turn finally. Thank you. And I guess I should say that this is the second year in a row now that you have actually spot and stalked a white tail and a mule deer now. Or a white a mule deer and now a white tail. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're a stalking stud. Did you just compliment me? No, not really. I guess in my own way. Congratulations. So you guys, you and Travis were out in the woods yes, early we in the were. morning. It was getting kind of cold. You guys got all the way back to the truck, or almost all the way back to almost. the truck. And, and we saw that buck, you saw that buck. down so, in those cottonwoods. Okay, but, but now all you have to do is say, remember, no matter what. Never stop hunting. Never stop hunting until you're until in the truck. You're in the truck. Right, now let's roll the footage. You complimented you me. You stalking stud you. Okay, I know Ralph's saying is he'd rather be lucky than good any day. Two years in a row in Colorado, two mature bucks, I mean, come on, where's the horseshoe at? Looking for sign. Right Come on, baby. <laughs> Unbelievable. Travis and I, I mean, we ran around. I, lost, I dropped my arrows. I couldn't find my dang arrows. Everything was, was a muck. And uh, it just works out. You never know when it's going to happen. You just have to be prepared for it. And well, it worked out. I'm shooting a new tricon. And, uh, I believe that the, the little bit higher let off did help me hold for a longer period of time. And I'm sitting there holding, holding, holding. And he's looking and he, you could tell that he's getting nervous and he just turned like he was gonna leave. And right when he did that, we centered him. Well, congratulations. You, you know what's funny? Think... Wait, wait, you know what's funny here? What's funny? There were three hunts on camera. Yeah. Two were the girls. Okay, Michelle and I. And one was the guy. You. Moi. Yeah. Two of the girls ended up with zero, nothing, zip zero, eight, the paper tags. And the guys, they closed the deal. So, they, they do, you, did it. do you think the guys won this week then? <laughs> is there, a, Fred, is there a doubt in your mind? I mean, come on, guys, folks, listen. Is there a doubt? I mean, you know, it just. Okay. When well, you, when you, when the chips are down, the big. Cl clutch hitter comes to bat, and guess what? It's us. We'll same see you time, next week. Same time, same channel. Right here. On the Archer's on Choice. On the men's Archer's Choice. I let him win once in a while. Oh.